Hey guys, Stony Creek here. You know what time it is. That's right. We're going to be working on that monster today. Hopefully this will be the last time. Stay tuned. Let's get to it. Ooh wee, it's a warm one today. Fortunately it's a little bit overcast so I figured I'd take the day and actually work out here on the driveway. Going to work on uh, this, the hay dolly in behind me. You know, you watched me re-rig it and do a few things, and we tr did it on that uh, test run. I found a few things that I needed to fix to make this uh, work a little bit better. Um, just to recap, let me show you uh, some of the stuff that we're going to be fixing here. Right here, come around to this way. See this little fork that bar uh, draws into? Well, and this thing's got a lot of weight on it, and of course uh, these cables work well, but uh, I found that down here, I don't know if you can see it really well on the coupler, but there's a round sleeve there. There's also a round sleeve uh, right over there that's attached to these forks. That's what works as the hinge point. And when that would move up, this could actually slide over, you know, almost two inches then of course this wouldn't be aligned so that uh, created problems because I tell you what when you got a 1200 pound bale on there you're not moving those forks fortunately I never had to move far but I'm gonna uh, what you just saw me cut I'm gonna weld that uh, little bit of pipe um, as a C shape I don't know how to do that in the camera but uh, you'll see here in a second but I'm gonna hold those uh, more stationary where basically they're only gonna have a half inch play it shouldn't bind up going up and down, but that way it's not going to slide off. So then when I uh, raise the pulley system up, that fork's going to uh, go right here where it's supposed to go. Now some of the other things that I'm going to fix here, when I showed the first, uh, how, to, how I rigged this thing, one of the viewers pointed out that I had these U-bolts uh, on upside down, but actually this portion should be on the live wire side and not the dead side. So I'm going to be moving those, uh, flipping those guys around. I did a little bit of research and he is absolutely correct. Not that I doubted him, but I always like to check things out as well. While we're up here at the rigging, um, if you recall, this wire actually rides on this point a lot. I'm going to cut this guy out. I've got another pin that's going to go right through this hole. And it's going to ride on that, so we're going to get rid of that. I'm also going to do a little bit of trimming just right here. You can see where it's shiny, where uh, this handle hits. So we're going to do a little bit of trim there. All in all, it really shouldn't take me too long. But uh, I figured it would be a fun video, and you guys have uh, followed along since day one, since I brought the dolly home, and then we re-rigged it and tried it out. So we're going to... Uh, Go ahead and get those repairs done today and then we're going to try it out. I'm going to bring those uh, hay bales uh, actually back down here, it's over there, back down here in the driveway because we're getting ready to start a fence project right in the middle of where those bales are so they need to move. Well guys, daylight's burning, let's get after it. This is that little piece that I cut off. Obviously uh, I can't put a, a circle over to use as a stop. I'm going to cut this guy in half. Then I'm going to put this thing in my vise and squeeze that down. That's going to open this up a little bit. And I'm going to put a couple of uh, welds on here. Let me uh, get this cut and squeezed open, and I'll be right back. Now I'm going to tell you real quick, that looked like my thumb was going to be in there, like so. But if you can see... My gloves broke. My thumb was well out of the way. It was just the glove itself. I know it can still get caught up. Thanks for pointing that out. One of these days I'll buy a new set of gloves. Let's try this piece out on the dolly and I'm going to show you what I'm talking about by putting this in a vise and clamping that down. As you can see right there, still a little warm. It's not going to fit. Let me move the camera here. You can see, you can see we've got uh, quite a bit of gap. I'm going to throw this guy in the vise and flatten this out a little bit until we get the same uh, circumference on this piece. Until we get the same circumference on this piece so it matches up with this piece just fine. 
I'll be right back. Okay, got her piece fat, flattened out. I've uh, cleaned it up a little bit. Let's go over and do a test fit. Now what I'm going to do, I'm not going to butt this right up next to this collar, or there's a potential that it could bind. I'm going to leave us a little bit of gap. I can tell by the paint how far it moved. So I'm going to split that difference with this collar. What I'm going to do now is put a little soapstone on here. That way I know where it's going to ride. And uh, we're going to clean this up. You can't weld on uh, you can't weld on this paint here, so I'm going to clean that up with the grinder. That way we get a good bond when we weld. Well guys, I think that's going to work out. Let's go get the welder. Hey, before we start welding, I've got a question for y'all. Any of you guys watch the channel Old Camp Ranch? If you've not seen it, you need to go over there. He's a pretty funny guy. A lot of good stuff. But I'm going to steal one of his things right now, right before we uh, start welding here. Disclaimer! I don't know how to weld. Don't do what I do. Don't do it the way I do. Actually, I can weld. But I'm not welding the pipeline. This is going to be farm good enough, so try not to be too critical of my welds. All it's got to do is hold a hay bale in spot. It's not got to uh, hold up the Titanic or anything like that. So let's get to it. Well guys, I don't think I'm going to be going to get my welding certification license or test anytime soon, but uh, I believe this guy's going to hold. After we get it cooled down, I'm going to uh, spray paint that just to protect it. And uh, while it's doing that, let me set up and we're going to work on the rigging. Now you're probably wondering why I'm taking this all the way off. I actually have to re-rig these cables. I'll show you that here in a second. See how this cable actually is going down next to these? And it comes and it curls under. Instead of doing that, it actually should be going through the top cable and then down. So I'm going to re-rig these so that that way those don't foul when I'm moving the rig up and down. While I'm here, you can see that piece that I cut out before this cable rode up on top of that piece. And now I've cut out this metal, so it's going to be able to ride down here, and it's not going to preload that. Okay, let's take a look at this. I actually have the saddles now on the live wire where the U-bolt uh, is running on our tail. And now you can see this is our top wire that runs into the winch. And it's going into the top of the pulley. So it's just going to have those uh, cables combed out a lot nicer.
this is the area that I just ground down and you can see we've got all sorts of room now well I'm gonna set this thing down we've got one more area to grind up here then I'll uh, spray paint all the areas that are ground and welded and we'll see if it works okay the last area I've got to work on is right here I have moved those cables out of the way normally they ride in that trough but right here they get pinched up and it's got a nice roll pin right there I'm gonna hack those edges off so the wires lay flat in there they don't get all bunched up in this v-notch that's also gonna protect my cables a little bit more okay now you can see that I've got a nice smooth edge in here instead of that V thing that was going on I used my 90 degree dot co with a uh, grinding bit on there to help smooth those edges up and they're nice and smooth I wouldn't be running my finger in here if they weren't so that's going to protect the cables versus before it was just a real tight V and all these cables would get bunched up you can see they're going to sit in there nice now before they was running through a v-channel about like that that's just no good at all well i've got it hooked up to the tractor let's run out yonder and go grab us hay bale we're going to see if these uh, modifications must work well as you can see behind me i've got backed up to the bale i'm going to show you one more time those modifications we did and then uh let's lift that bale up we'll see what happens Remember I trimmed this guy so the handle clears. I cut this metal bracket so now this cable um, doesn't ride on anything. Let me uh, move this around. See he's just free and clear. I've also got this cable. Actually we'll run it. It's hard to see but I've, I've got this cable run so that it goes down the first time instead of up so that makes these cables uh, nicer you can see where I've cut out that notch see how those cables lay flat now that's a lot nicer again I've got these saddles on the live part of the wire versus the dead part and then right there you can see I've already uh, primer painted it but that's where I put that little uh, piece of metal and that's just going to keep this from moving this direction it's going to hold it within a uh, half inch tolerance there versus uh, sliding out that way this top pole will fit right into here and not move around at all or anyway that's the plan Let's uh, set this camera up, watch me break my back, and we'll get to it. I'm going to tell you, I'm glad I don't have to do that every day, but it uh, worked like a champ. Let me show you what that rigging looks like with full bail on there. This part did work out great, didn't hit the handle at all. This also worked out great, didn't have that uh, extra resistance for that piece that used to be there. You can see with tension on it, these cables are now nice with that uh, first loop going down versus up. You can see that my pole here went right into those guide pins the way they're supposed to. Um, you can't tell it now. Hopefully you can in the video. I'll find out when we edit it. But it did work out nice and flat through there. And then of course my little add-on piece did keep the forks in line so that this line, this guy lines straight up. 
Well, I'm gonna go uh, park this and go get the other bale. I'm trying to get this done before dark. You guys seen me uh, load these guys before and unload them, so you know what that's all about. But I just wanted to bring you along to show you the modifications I did just to make this a better project. Guys, I appreciate you watching. I'll see you next video.